Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Rico here. And yes, I have just woken up to make a KJ guide. Okay, what has my life become? Don't judge me in the comments. Here's my guide for Breeze. I'll be covering all the fundamentals. So setups you can use, lineups, best turrets, etc. And before you watch the video, please leave a like. We're getting close to 1000 subscribers. So I'd really appreciate it if you can drop me a sub. And anyway, starting off on the A side here, we have her setups. You have these two mollies to cover the side of the pyramid. They both do the same job. One just looks a bit cooler. So if you want to give yourself a bit of um, an ego boost, intelligence boost, then use the second one. But essentially, as they come into sight here, you pop over these. It prevents them from pushing in. And if they try to plant the spike, they get completely demolished. In combination, I use a turret on the little ledge here. This will cover door for you, as you can see, bridge and the door up top as well. So very versatile. And if you're paranoid about them coming through halls, then use your lumber like this. And you have the basic angles covered on the A site. From here, I like to play usually towards back site. As you'll see here, if they come in, get a few shots off on cave. If they try and push, you pop both your bodies here and prevent them from coming in. And then as a second setup, this one is insane. I've never seen anyone use this before, so I'm taking full credit for this one. If you right click your money, you can get it stuck here behind the wall. And these are literally indestructible, like they can't break these at all if they want to, so these are insane. So use these in combination with the first molly I showed you before. A llama goes just at the very edge of this wall here. And then as they come in, does a pretty similar job to the first setup, but it focuses more towards the back of sight. But both these, if they try and run towards the wall, they can't. If they go default, they get modded. So basically, you get him reported, or flamed in all chats, so good luck. As a variation here, if you throw the first money behind the wall, and a second one, just between these two lines here, doesn't need to be perfect. Pop over these, it covers basically all the backside for you, as you can see here. So if you see a jet player on the other team, who likes to dash, you can use this and destroy her entire, not even a day, destroy her entire rank a month, a year. And then you have two options here. I prefer to place my alarm bots just at the very edge here. As you can see, as they come in, use these. Destroy the jets, destroy the Neon, Yoru, whoever it is. From here, I like to play towards doors. With my turret, try and get a peek and kill the guy coming through doors. That's pretty much it for the A setups. And then if you want to hold mid doors for your team, place your turret like this. In halls, it covers both the mid push and also the doors push as well. And then before the barrier drops down, a llama goes here with your molly in combination. Wait a few seconds as you contemplate your life and why you got to this point. And then chuck your second one just behind the door here. As they push up, they hit your alarm what's like right here. If they push forward, they get hit by your molly. If they fall back, they get hit. And then for B site, I prefer playing B site on Killjoy because there's more like tight areas. You know, we Killjoy players love our tight areas. Amongst other things, which I won't go into. Anyways, here the first B setup is as follows. A llama goes just against the ladder on the wall. Find the box here. Find this orange and yellow stain and chuck your second one down. When they try and push in here, the first money covers the entirety of the entryway. They can't stand anywhere. And yeah, from here you can just sit back sight and shoot them as they come in. As a variation to this, if they keep breaking your first molly, and you can hide it behind the pipe right here. Try and mix it up a little bit. Alama goes in the corner. This one does leave a small gap in the corner here by the alarm bot. But if we're playing towards backsides, then 
it isn't a problem. You can just peek out if you're a lobot and then shoot them in the corner. And then for your turret, you have two options here. This is a more defensive turret you can play. This covers both mid and main for you as well. So they push from main, mid, and a little bit from backsides, it will see them. And then for a more aggressive turret to peek off, you can use this. This is great for peeking window with like an operator, a martial outlaw, that kind of thing. I usually sit right here with my operator as they push in to swing up my turrets contact or towards the mid contact and pick them off. For your second setup here, this will be your retake setup. For this, chuck your first molly behind the wooden panels here. And then chuck your second one on top of the boxes. A very simple jumping left click like this. And this covers the two most common planting locations on the site. So if you plant on the side here, it will hit them. If it plants towards default, it will also hit them. And they can't crouch underneath as well. Very, very strong. After this, we have a very niche setup, but it can work sometimes. Your money's go on these lines here. The very first and the very last line. Our lumber goes just at the very edge of this box here. And you'll see it will cover the entire entryway on the left side of sight. So as they come in here, pop over these. If they jump on the box, it will also hit them, as you can see. If you lack the brain cells to do the previous two setups, then just chuck your two mollies here. Okay, there's no shame in it. It's okay. It will cover the push for you. You place your alarm bot in the same corner as before. Toy goes here to watch mid for you. I usually play backside to this setup. As they come in, if you pop both your mollies, it will stop the push. And then if they go and push the site through the mollies, you can swing off your alarm bot here and get a free kill. And now for the A side lineups, these will cover the two most common positions, so default and the side of site on pyramid. For both of these, make your way out of cave and in this corner here. Make sure you put yourself right in the corner, okay? Shove yourself in there as deep as you can. And for the first one, just put your cross eye there. I can't really explain it any better for you. You just put your cross eye there. It's pretty simple. Pause the video if you need to. And for both of these, this is very important, okay? When you chuck these mollies, make sure you left click as soon as you jump. Because if you throw and then jump like this, it will get stuck on the roof, okay? So as soon as you jump, you left click straight away. It will fly over for you and hit default. And then for the side of pyramid, find this orange stain on the wall and do a simple jumping left click throw. If I show you here, you have one for default and one for the side of plant. Very simple. Just make sure you chuck as soon as you throw, okay? As a bonus tip, if you plant the spike right here and you have no time to do your lineups, you can bounce your mollies off the wall here and they will both land towards the spike. Then you can simply peek out and get the kill as they're falling back. Now for your B-side lineups, these will again cover the most two column positions for you. So default and the side of sight, very simple. And for both of these, Make your way outside of B main and towards the wall as shown here. Push yourself against it. And then you want to find these two flowers, okay? So the first one is this one here, the very bottom flower. Place your alarm bot symbol as shown here. I'll zoom in for you. And do a simple jump in left click throw. Again, left click as soon as you jump. And the second one is on this flower here. The same thing. Alarm bot on top of it. I'll show you once again. Alarm bot goes here. The first one. The second one goes here. And that will land default for you if you plant here. And the side of sight if you plant in this position. 
as a bonus tip, if you plan this bike on default, you can make your way outside of the sights and just like before, bank your molly off the wall here. It will land default for you and allow you to give yourself some time to stop the diffuse. If you enjoyed, leave a like, come join the Discord down below, drop me a follow, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.